What's up, guys? Welcome to the next episode of the It Resolves podcast. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it, however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Guys, we appreciate People. it. And as always, we appreciate our fantastic sponsor, Cardsphere.com, the best place to buy, sell, and trade magic cards online. Ooh, triple threat. Yeah. All good Love stuff. It. I feel like when I say that every time, because it, I mean, it's not scripted, but that's just like what I say every single it, time. And that's exactly what you do. You get right to it. I yeah. Mean, it's perfect. But it's just funny because it makes me think of, do you know Riley Knight, the commentator for Magic? Yeah. The guy that just like says really silly things all the time, the, but he's got a great announcer voice. Forgive me. He's Australian? I think that's right. I think that's correct. Yeah, I believe so. One of the two. Um, but you know, he just says like silly things, but then he has it in that really good like announcer voice. Yeah. Well, that's I love like what I aspire to be. He touches it. It's like he uh, <laughs> he jumps right off something weird into something rational, and you're almost like, yeah. wait, what? You're like, I don't know what just happened, yeah. but I kind of liked it. And then you kind of <laughs> care more about what he's actually saying because you yeah. got thrown off and have to pay attention more. It's very Maybe strange. that's the strategy. Maybe it is. It worked for him. Uh, yeah, I mean he's cool. I assume I don't know him. <laughs> I'm sure he's a nice guy. Probs. <laughs> uh, let's get right in, guys. Our random card of the day in three, two, one. Sorry, I didn't get a book. That's totally fine. Uh, all right. <laughs> Concentrate. It is a sorcery for four mana, two colorless, two blue. That says draw three cards. Uh, fine. Right. Yeah. And li and limited. I always assume we're talking limited first. I mean it's fine. This is this was eighth edition in Odyssey, so this is pretty old. Yeah, yeah. It's an, I mean, it's just. Do you like? Well, hmm. I just don't like expensive card draw and a sorcery. I usually don't. They're but like it, it's fine in in a limited sense. Yeah, like but, that's kind of it, right? Like, oh yeah. There are much better ways to do this in any like constructive format. Yeah. Uh, so like, unless I mean maybe in Commander, but that's. It's always like maybe in Commander, so like, yeah. I I and even there I don't really think so, but like definitely in draft it's like a solid late game thing to do for a blue mm -hmm. deck. I think three cards is good enough to put yeah. a card draw thing in. It's uh, it costs one more than divination and mm -hmm. it gives you one more card. Worth it. It's fine. Yeah, probably. I think I'd almost rather have divination only because. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Only <laughs> only because I think. Uh, getting to turn four with more things to do is more impactful than turn three mm -hmm. in limited. No, I think you're right. Sense. I think you're exactly right. If you find um, your four, your four bomb, your four yeah. drop, because a lot of removal comes in on four, comes online. It's four. actually a good point. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're definitely correct. I don't know. I mean, I think it's it's fine. It's just card yeah, draw, it's just right? like yeah. it's you play it if you want to. It's this fine. is like <laughs> this is like steamed broccoli as opposed to some other vegetable for dinner <laughs> like yeah it's got the vitamins the minerals it's good but there yeah. are other there are other choices that might be better depending on the person aka the deck <laughs> i don't know i never liked steamed broccoli but i was okay with it i didn't dislike it on that note uh guys we That's are gonna jump into so uh We've tried this once before. We did yeah. a mock draft. We didn't do it very well. Uh, if we're gonna be no, honest, no. We had some. We had some takeaways between the two, betwixt the two of us. Betwixt the two of us. But yeah. But yeah, uh, we we thought about some things that probably would have uh, been better for the whole yeah. experience. So we're gonna implement those now. Now, um, yeah. So uh, basically, we're using this website, Draft Sim. This is not the same website that we were using before, but yeah. uh, the only reason we're not using the other is because they don't have Guilds of Ravnica up yet. Uh, right. But uh, basically, you could just practice draft. Yeah. Uh, you can do sealed. You can do a lot of different stuff on here. Mm -hmm. This is sort of just a fun thing to do in your spare time, and it gets yeah. you better at drafting. Is the idea? Yeah. Also, I mean, you should pre you should uh, uh, mock draft. Before you draft anything. Yeah, absolutely. Promise. It's good practice. Promise you. Um, as you can see, we've already drafted a little bit. But uh, we're going to jump right in, and we're going to do our best while we go through this to mm -hmm. talk about a few highlight cards, at least in our opinion, sure. uh, as well as explain to you, for anybody listening only on the podcast app, we'll do our best mm -hmm. to explain the best picks in the, each pack. We're not going to go through every single card, obviously, right. but we'll do the best we can. Yeah. If you want to see the whole draft, as in the entire packs we get, you can you can check it out on YouTube, but we'll, yep. we'll talk about the good stuff. That uh, is correct. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, our rare here, obviously, <laughs> rare is generally the first place you're going to look. We have a yep. Beast Whisperer, it is a 2 3 for 2 and 2 green. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card. Uh, 
pretty solid, right? I, I don't know. Don't. I feel like it's card drawing green, which is worth it, but like it's sure card drawing green is good. But card draw unlimited isn't necessarily good. That's fair. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Uh, we also have a price of fame, which I do think is quite good. Uh, we have a swarm guild mage, which is great. Um, anything else really worth noting as a first pick? As a first pick, honestly, no. No. Um, so just given the 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 few things we talk about in and throughout the podcast, really, mm-hmm. um, two things come to mind to me. One, this pack doesn't have a great bomb. Mm-mm. Sure, it's got Vigor's Vigor Spore Worm, <laughs> which is a big dude that gives other things big and gives him vigilance, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's a it's a decent card, but I, it, you it's can not pick awesome. those up. I feel like later on, and that would be fine. Yeah, they're common. They'll yeah. probably wheel. I'm not yeah. super excited about it, but Price of Fame is pretty good removal. Yeah, it's just it's flat great. out destroy target creature. Uh, and I mean, random upside, it costs two less if you're targeting a legendary creature, which right. I mean, there are a few in here. Um, yeah. and then surveil two, obviously, which is synergistic in the blue black, uh, deck, which yeah. is really, uh, I, I've only test drafted a few times and I haven't been in that archetype. So I don't know how that, how good that would be in draft actually. Um, yeah, me either. That's like me either. I I mean, some of these other archetypes are very clearly like draft archetypes, like mentor. Sure, definitely for draft can be for constructed too. But I definitely mm-hmm. think it shines in draft. Surveil, I'm not so sure of. Uh, if I'm going to be honest, but what yeah. what do you think is the pick here? So for me, it's between Price of Fame and Swarm Guild Mage. Same. Um, Swarm Guild Mage is a really solid two drop. Uh, you don't really care about the gaining two life at all. I would not say really no. probably not um, but giving your team menace and boosting him a little bit seem that's that is a really good board state affecting yeah ability well and like you mentioned before we were talking about this card before we started mm-hmm. and you said it gets you out of a, bo- a board stall which right. is hugely hugely important because obviously mm-hmm. that happens pretty regularly in draft so yeah. I do think because it's a creature, it affects the board a little bit more. I feel like that's what I'm leaning towards. Okay. That being said, Price of Fame is like A plus removal, right? Like, yeah. It's Pers- kind of the best removal, maybe, at Uncommon. In I this think set. it is our only, besides uh, Assassin's Trophy, I think it's our only target removal that's just blame, yeah. destroy target creature. And it is only one color, so it does leave you open yeah. a little bit more, which is good. It's worth noting. I lean towards Price, just because removal is solid. All right. Let's do it. Let's take Price. Cool. Follow up, there is no rare in this pack, uh, so obviously that was taken, but we've got some interesting mm-hmm. options. Mm-hmm. Uh, the erstwhile trooper, I think, is actually a really good, just solid card uh, mm-hmm. for the Golgari deck. Uh, there's also the lurcher, which is pretty solid as well. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'm not that big of a fan of the harpooner. Uh, I feel like he's good if you have flyers, but if you don't, he's just kind of... <laughs> He's a three two for th- yeah. for two with reach, so he's he's good. I honestly really like the harpooner, but I don't know. I mean, it kills a lot of other of flyers, right? Yeah, it In does. Undergrowth. Well, that's all assuming undergrowth is working. Yeah. Um. However, so we have an engine card in this pack in Urswell Trooper. Yep. If we want to go green black, which it looks like, judging from this pack is a pretty good way to go. I know it's only a second pick, but... Right, but there are some options. Like, stuff this. will come around. I don't yeah. think we get Harpooner back, but the Lurcher might wheel. Yeah, I um, think so. Do you think we mm-hmm. go with the Trooper? So, it's... I think it's between the Trooper and maybe the Harpooner. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, without without flirting with three colors here, Boros Challenger is also very good. Definitely. Very, very good. Um... I think the trooper is probably the better pick just because you get an engine for that archetype. Okay. And it's a 4-4 with trample. Yeah. All right. Let's take it. Trooper. Cool. All right. So here we have a burglar rat. Um, so we do have a uh, uh, dissident, which I do like this card quite a lot. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2, which is not, it's not amazing, but it's a mana sink later on that you can buff up. Uh, yeah. For five mana, it is a late game kind of a thing, but it's two two with an upside, so I am cool with that. Wood Shaper is also great, mm-hmm. uh, in my opinion. It lets you dig through the top four cards of your deck, pull out a creature or an enchantment, uh, put it into your hand. Do like that quite a bit. Uh, there is the Worm, 
uh, which we mentioned earlier. Right. Also would be fairly decent, uh, especially if we do end up in green black. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where, what are you thinking? So in my mind, we just picked up an engine to go green black. So I'm you leaning worm. Um, worm, or I'm thinking creatures that help us turn on surveil, gotcha. not surveil undergrowth. Um, so to me, it's either between di- the dissident, Devarkin mm-hmm. dissident, or the rat. So keep in mind, this is opponents discard a card, not us. Yeah. So I mean, the rat. Obviously, that card isn't good. Right. Right. But it helps with undergrowth. It's just a body we well, throw. Well, but undergrowth only works with our creatures. Well, I know. I'm, our graveyard. I'm saying it throws itself in front of something. Oh, it's oh just I see a, what you It's mean. just a chump, yeah, yeah. I chump blocker. That I thought you were talking about the effect itself. No, I mean, it. that honestly isn't... I mean, it's good. I think discarding cards are... Yeah, it's fine. In limited, every effect is a little bit better than constructed. Yeah, definitely. Sort of. That's a really loaded statement. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that that's kind of okay, to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of with the dissident. I feel like that's the better pick, to be honest. Yeah, I think the more it's solid fine. Pick. I think it's fine. It's a bigger body. It does the same. Yeah. Because the thought for me is the same. I just want another creature yeah. that affects the board enough, but could die easily. Like, yep. the thought with Undergrowth is to get expendable creatures to help you with payoff cards. Yeah. Kind of in line with uh, with White Green, with Convoke stuff. You just yeah. want a lot of little dudes to help pump up your big things. But you just get the most value, I think, out of your creatures in green black because you want them literally just to die yeah in, in my opinion you just want to be trading off resources basically yeah, you in don't the have early to game. keep them alive it's way more tempo i think yeah so yeah. Uh, distance okay distance good. uh well we do have a big payoff here so we have yeah. another trooper which is worth mentioning we also have a molder hulk mm-hmm. uh which is just a giant payoff card it's a six six with uh undergrowth gets a little bit cheaper uh other cards worth mentioning I mean, I do think the Colossus is worth mentioning, but not mm-hmm. really in this deck. No. It doesn't really do what it needs to do in this. Uh, Artful Takedown is also just a good card, yeah. which we could splash. I think Artful Takedown is solid. I don't want to splash it. No, nope, it's not worth the splash in my opinion. So yeah. I think it's a pretty clear Hulk here. I'd agree. Uh, I don't necessarily think there's much else. No. we. I'd want the Trooper to come back to us in this Certainly, pack, yeah. But I think Hulk's the uh, I would be okay with the Okapi, just as Agreed. a 3-3. Three, three, or a 3-2, excuse me. Agreed. Uh oh, not much in this pack, unfortunately. I feel like well, maybe what is the mood mark painter? It's two three for two and two black. There's the battlefield. Eh. I don't know mm. about that. I don't either. I'm not sold on it. Uh, the shade is also just you know a decent three drop because you can pump it. How do you feel about this? Uh, let's see. Wand of Vertebrae. Uh, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Okay. Uh, shuffle up to five cards from your graveyard into your library. Uh, I don't know. I don't either, so... I really don't know about that. That's an engine. I mean, it is, but you have no clue what it's going to be putting in I know. There. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, I mean, it is self-mill. It's very slow self-mill, but you do get it on turn one. Uh, theoretically. I don't know. I think it's between that, the shade. You know, honestly, mm. it might be Selesnia Gilgate just to no. open ourselves up for nope. a splash. Nope. Nope. Take it. Take that back. Why? Nope. You What's wanna, wrong with that? You want to draft a, a land that comes in tapped before a thing that does a thing? If we're not likely that to That we play might them. not even use? I'm just saying. We might not use either of these two. <laughs> we would be way more likely than use a Gilgate. Uh, I feel like the most likely thing is the painter. And that's probably true. Um, uh, I think the shade is just fine. It's not amazing. Yeah, painter's probably it. Cool. Uh, uh, well, well, another Hulk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's yeah. the pick, right? Yeah. So it's the Hulk or another painter would yeah, be it, but I think the Hulk is better. So. Well, I mean... Golgari Raiders is a four drop. Yeah. Technically, it's a zero zero, but it comes into play with one one counter on it for every creature in your graveyard, and it has haste, uh, which I like. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely think that's the pick. We're still in pack one. Aren't yeah, we? we are still in pack one. Good, 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 good. 
Uh, this is a interesting card for this deck. Mephitic Vapors. All creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Surveil two. So Surveil mm. helps us get things in the graveyard, and because we don't care if our stuff dies, it's kind of fine if all creatures get minus one, minus one. Uh, um, also, it would really annihilate a token strategy pretty quick. Yeah, I think that's a really solid sideboard. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, definitely. It. That's a good pick. Uh, let's see. Well, we have the Assassin, which we both really like. Yeah. Um, and another Worm, but I do think the Assassin yes, is the pick. Yes, I'd up. agree. I do want to get Child of Knights because they're cheap and they help us just in the long run. Yeah, definitely. It stalls out a little bit. Exactly, but I, I think that there's way more to pick above it. Uh, I'm not a fan of Never Happened. Me either. I think we pick Crushing Canopy as sideboard. Sure. Destroy Target Flyer. Sure. Seems pretty good. Do we pick mm. another one or do we pick a Wood Shaper? I feel like those are the only two options. Um, wood Shaper being a splashable card, not necessarily a great splash though. I mean, it's fine, but I don't think it's worth it necessarily. I don't either. I don't think it's strong enough to like right to put in unless we get another white card that we'd want to split like that alone isn't good to splash i don't so think. do we take this with the intent of potentially seeing another white card or do we just take a second canopy i think 99 times out of 100 you take the thing that you would probably play right. over something you'd maybe play that's fine even if it's inside board yeah yeah i mean Temple well garden <laughs> uh or colossus so okay if this were <laughs> if this were real life Temple Garden a, a, a yeah one hundred percent one hundred percent um it is an untapped splashable land that's sort of my thing so if you want to win your draft I'd probably say <laughs> not that this would lose you the draft yeah yeah but uh you should probably take the Colossus because it's the scarier card yeah but if you want to like come away with good cards take Temple Garden <laughs> so Colossus. I mean sure but I would take Temple Garden if just, this was a real draft yeah I would probably just take for it. the you know, uh, I mean, Gilgate. I, would, I would take uh, that. Neither of these are good. Well, no, I'm just thinking about hate drafting at this point. Uh, well, I mean, that's the only thing that does the thing. All right, I'm just saying. I mean, yeah. All right, next pack. Uh, we do have a necrotic wound, which is solid. Solid removal in this deck. Uh, solid. That's kind of about it, honestly. Yeah. So our like, rare is a weird surveil card. Uh, mission briefing, which is a good constructed card, surprisingly. Yeah, but, oh, definitely, uh, definitely. Not necessarily a draft. No, I think. Card. I mean, there's there's one pick. Yeah, it's necrotic wound. Yeah, no choice there. Hundred percent. Um, I think trooper. Yeah. Uh, we do have another Hulk, but we've already got two. I think two is probably solid. I think so too. I'm with that. I think these get worse out over two. I feel like because you're just gonna end up with them piled up. I feel like I think and you'd pitch that's like the scary more. Yeah, I mean definitely. Uh, but troopers the engine like we talked about already. Right. So we want that. Mm. Oh man, I love that card. I know <laughs> it's, it's so good. Two blue hurts. I know. Yeah, no, a you're, lot. You're right. So um, the lurcher, I think. Is so. So in green, we've got the lurcher, generous stray. Yeah. Uh, pause for reflection, and in black, another painter or uh, what's that? It's a vanilla Downsword four or five. Nope. Nope. Um, I mean lurcher. Yeah, that's my. Yeah, that's, that's my just opinion. Definitely the clear. There's a child of night here. There's also a gorgon though, uh, which I'm kind of in favor of the gorgon. I There's am There's also too. a hired poisoner, <laughs> which is just a one one death touch. Oh well, that maybe one. that one. <laughs> no, yeah, that one. It's just easier. It's cheaper, and you get to still kill a thing um here we have what another gorgon a centipede and a like what selesnia locket maybe but that's a so there's a mythic in this pack yeah still. there is a mythic <laughs> divine visitation if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control that many four four white angel Ooh. creature tokens with flying evasions are created instead. So Man, what a payoff. We could have actually had a very good green white deck, actually. If you look even just at this pack, there's a cavalier here. Man. Ooh, really good stuff. I mean, that's a constructed card. Faux shizzle. Yeah. But I mean, that's just sweet. But the matter at hand. <laughs> <laughs> um so Beetle or Gorgon is my idea. I think this is just a Yeah. I, I think, think Beetle's think. better. Yeah. Than the spinal centipede because it's cheaper. Yep. And we just want it to die again. 
right? Uh, yeah, I like the Gorgon more. I do too. Because I of do the too. Death Touch. Agreed. It's going to trade off no matter what. Agreed. And that's exactly what we want. Agreed. So we take Gorgon. Yep, yep. Uh, well, we have another dissident. We have a Okapi, which I don't necessarily think we want this as much as this. Yeah. Um, and Creeping Chill, me. Yeah, it's not. Not a fan. Not so fantastic. dissident, I think it's a pretty clear pick. Sure. I'm cool with that. Uh, painter. This is a great card too. Uh, uh severed, city watch things. severed severed strands. Uh, do do do. Oh, pardon me. Yes, severed strands. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. Card. <laughs> I didn't know that card existed. Yeah, until that I just card's read it. very very good. Uh, not much for us in this pack, unfortunately. Nah. Um, I feel like honestly, it's Demir Locket. Uh, not that we'll play it, but just that. It leaves us into that option if we want to, but again, we're not playing any of these. Probably not, but I think Barrier Bones is better. Really? It puts a thing in the graveyard. It's Defender for one. It's a creature. <sighs> it's so bad, though. Um, yeah, we're not going <laughs> to play it, but it's better than the Locket um, in Limited for this. Yeah. For this for this deck, for sure. Uh, I think we take Painter here. We've already got two Canopies. Yeah. And not that we'll necessarily play it, but... Yeah. Uh, well, generous stray. Yeah. <laughs> um, one of these two, but probably this. I, I'm not a fan of the pack's favor, and we kind of want our stuff to die anyway. Right. It's a bad giant growth. Yeah. So I'm kind of painter. We have a lot of painters. I mean, we have two already. Uh, do you want to take pack's favor? Target uh, games. Uh. <laughs> um, so we're not going to play another room. No. It doesn't matter we'll at that point. Uh, well, go, go Gari Locket. Yeah. That's good. It's our color, so that's fine. Well, Celestia Locket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Creeping Chill and Disinformation Campaign. Interesting. All right. Okay. Uh, Prey Upon is pretty good with all these Death Touchers. Yeah. So it's worth noting at this point in your draft, we should have picked something else to draft. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, you shouldn't try to reach much for. You just really want to pick things that'll work in your deck. If, yeah. And just focus your deck. You're not trying necessarily to go into something different. Um, even if you see a super cool rare, if it's not in either of your colors, Probably or if you have it. three colors, yeah. if you were in three, if it's not in any of them, don't get it. Right. Um, this is just where you really want to refine and get things that help your strategy. Fill stuff out, basically. Exactly. So, uh, And I do think Prey Upon gives us more removal. We've got some sure. Death Touchers already, so we don't necessarily need this Gorgon. Uh, we're not really ramping, and so mm -hmm. the the root there isn't necessarily what we want, so that, that really only leaves Prey Upon. I was going to say, I think we have enough removal we don't need Prey Upon. We'd want a creature. The, I was going to go with the Gorgon. Uh, personally fine broker definitely seems good this is also quite good um mm. status and statue are here as well as the golgari find broker both of which i do quite like there's an, there strands. is another severed strands uh those are definitely the three options here i kind of like the find broker um because we do have so much yeah. removal already uh and this is just good recursion um, I don't know. How yeah. do you feel? Are you um, good with I think st I really, really like strands for our deck, but I think the fine broker is also solid. So I don't like that this isn't instant speed. That's what bothers me. I know, but um, because our creatures already have death touch, a lot of some of them, I should say, yeah. but some of them have death touch, which means they're already sure. sort of removal spells, uh, just by their own right. And so, really, all you have to do is block. And instead of sacking them, sure. But if that being not, said, if they're not attacking. If they're not attacking, matter. yeah. I mean, that's fair. Uh, I don't know. I uh, kind of feel like the fine broker only because yeah. we've already got so much. I removal. think so. I think fine broker is better. Okay. Cool. Uh, mm. <laughs> I think it's the rat. You think it's the rat? To be perfectly honest, we just want more targets to put in the graveyard, and it does a thing. Okay. Like straight up, there's nothing else really in that pack that's. I could have seen taking the guild gate, but. But I mean, if we're just in two colors, 
Yeah, but because fine. we have things like Find Broker and stuff, it'd be nice to be able to have the two colors on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if there's nothing in the graveyard to target, though, Find Broker doesn't do anything. I'm just saying. A lot yeah, of ifs. That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just a, that just comes in on two. No problem. I'm just saying. Uh, all right. I mean, <laughs> none of these are very strong picks. There's also just a 4-3 for 4. That's fine. Yeah. Straight up, you just want to, like, yeah. it's just a big dude. We're probably going to play it. Okay, okay. Lotlith Giant. <laughs> yeah. So There is our payoff. Yeah, Lotlith Giant is a solid bomb. Yep. Uh, a 6-5 for 7 with undergrowth that says when it comes in, it deals 1 damage to, sorry, 1 damage to target opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. That It's just a giant, fat, gray merchant. That's it, yeah. It doesn't gain you life, but, like, it comes in and the board immediately changes. Yep. Lotlith Giant's so good. Yeah, definitely love that. Definitely mm-hmm. the pick. No doubt about that. Uh, probably just another rat or the Okapi. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so I like the idea. So we have a bunch of removal. Yeah. Um, so we're limiting their resources pretty hard already. So maybe rat. So I like the synergy with rat. It's, I'm with a, that. it's cheaper yeah, yeah. than Okapi. Okapi is good. 3 2 with vigilance is probably better it's, than. Yeah, it's just solid, right? But I'm thinking about the curve too. And I do think we have quite a lot of three jumps already. Yes. So and I'm we with want the rat. cheap dudes. Yep. Uh, I like that. Uh, wow, there's second vapors. Yeah. That's really it, I think. Uh, Probably a second barrier of bones. Yeah. Uh, again, not necessarily a card we'd look to play, but. Right. Uh, it's there. Shield mate. Yep. Um, do, do, do. Probably this is like a sideboard option. Yeah, the I think so. For augers. I think so. <laughs> uh, against any Foragers. hasty deck. Foragers. I, I believe. I say things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Um, I'm not certain. None of these are necessarily what we want, so we probably hate draft Marshall. Yep. Uh, let's see. Again, probably hate drafting like a righteous blow. Yep. I'm with that. Uh, okay. Dissident. Yep. Fine. I um, hate draft with yep. shaper. <laughs> We're not gonna play that, right? Uh, okay, so we have done our draft. How do yep. we feel before we build the deck? Um, it's going to depend on how many. I don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good either. Um, I think we could have potentially moved into a different archetype, which might have been better. But green I, white was really the only other thing that I saw that was like highly open. I agree, but I do think that we have enough removal, enough stuff with Death sure. Touch to make it work. Sure. I think you're right. Just looking through it, as long as we put in enough cheat... Did we only take one Gorgon? No, we definitely took more. One. I thought we took more. We only took one Gorgon. What? That was a mistake. <laughs> I definitely thought we took, like, two at very least. I thought so, too. Anyway... Um, well, crap. Yeah. Well, if you want to start, we'll throw some some cards in here. Sure. So, yeah. uh, price of flame, yeah. definite trooper, definite. Uh, probably the dissident. I think yeah. At least one or two. We've already got our molar hulks for sure. Yep. The, Definitely raiders. The raiders. The assassin. Yeah. Um. Uh, necrotic wound definitely. Second, Second trooper, trooper, lurcher, poisoner, yeah, gorgon, this guy, yeah, this. Um, not sure about the painters. I'm. I think we'll play with one or two. Yeah, but I don't want to go more than that. I think the rats. Uh, I think find broker yeah. giants. Yeah. Uh, prey upon probably. Yeah. Agreed. Again, with some death touch interaction, that's great. Um, how many? What are we looking at now? Twenty. Twenty cards so, so far. We get three more. Um, so. Do you think it's worth it to play vapors if nothing else for the surveil trigger? Um, but then also to shrink yeah, down some it. stuff. I don't hate it. Uh, we can also play the Golgari locket as an option if we'd like to as card draw. True. Uh, I don't love that, but I'm just saying as an option. Uh, and then obviously the painter, I think. Those are kind of our biggest options, right? Well, so here's my here's my line of thinking. Okay. If we look at it. Um, expendables. T2. 
two, three, four, five, six. Um, well, it's seven. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Eight creatures that are expendable. I think it behooves us more. Okay. It's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. To throw in, um, uh, barrier, vapors, and then one of these two. Shield mate or dissident. Because, again, this is a creature. Yeah. Trigger surveil. So that's another potential creature in the yard. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, this kills creatures that we might want to kill later in the game. Again, trigger surveil, so that's good. Yeah, totally destroys tokens, so that's kind of yeah, incidental. It's just incidental. I don't think great. we'll end up playing like having it in the deck, but I don't know if we'll cast it every game. Yeah. Um, and then these are just mm, nice bodies to round out the curve and to keep creatures on hand. That being said, the painters, like that's payoff for undergrowth. So if we look at Undergrowth. Where's our four drops right now also? We've got three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. I could actually see playing one of the painters then. I could too. Uh, I think that's good I payoff. Agree. Uh, I think from there we play Dissident and then maybe Vapors. Dissident. The t- uh, mm-hmm. two, two. Yeah. Uh, and then a Vapors. That's kind of where I'm at. I would only... Hmm. I like this card because it can be aggressive, but it can just be a throwaway. Uh, yes, this triggers Surveil, which I do think, I think is worth noting. That could be two bodies for the price of one in the graveyard. It very it's well the only could thing. be. I think that's really solid, to be honest. I just don't like that it doesn't trade. Like, it doesn't potentially trade for anything, whereas the Dissident does. Like, that will just die on the field, which is good. We want that. It dies and blocks a bunch of stuff. It does block some stuff. It's going to slow down the game a little bit. Uh, but I, I I don't know. I'm I'm more on the Dissident plan. And it's just way easier to kill with Severed Strands than Dissident. Because you want Dissident to fight stuff. You don't care about this. This is just a target for that. Easy peasy. Yeah. I don't know. Um, did we get another strands that we're not playing? Yes. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Not okay. strands. Um, I thought you were uh, talking about vapors. I do think, regardless, we play one vapors. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I don't know. To, just straight up, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Surveil 2 is nice. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm thinking. And it kills one, two, three... Four of our things. Yeah. Right? Hmm. Four of our things shrinks their guys. We surveil. I don't know. Because I just want bodies to pitch into the yard. I'm cool with everyone here. These guys. These two. Even this, to be honest, if we have to. Mm-hmm. And like to get to the payoff cards. But having the option to to surveil is great. I don't know, homie. I think one vapors, and then right. I'll concede the barrier of bones over the dissident. I do think it's better than you believe right now. And that gives us a full 23. Our, looking mm-hmm. at our curve, uh, we've got, what, two one drops, uh, four two drops, which mm-hmm. is roughly where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, three drops, one, two, three, four, five, mm-hmm. which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, four four drops, and then from there we've got three basic bombs, right, mm-hmm. uh, with a smattering of removal, uh, which is pretty good. We've got a solid removal package which I do like. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and with our death, a few death touch creatures, we're probably going to be able to handle the opposing board fairly well. I'd agree. I would um, agree. I do kind of like this deck. Um, yeah, I feel a lot better about it now. Yeah. Honestly. I do too. I, so the curve is one of my biggest considerations, and I really like the curve of this deck, actually. I do too. Uh, it's very, very solid. Do you, do you uh, remember the preferred curve for limited stuff oh no not offhand so funny enough this is almost exactly it Good. one to two one drops yep um you want like two to three two drops so they're a little heavy there but again yeah. we want to throw those guys away then like four to six 
four drops or excuse me three, three drops, drops and then uh about four or five four drops and then you don't want to go more than two technically big guys but, but ours will be cheaper right with the hulks at least will be cheaper and we do have right. two of those so right uh, yeah, I actually mm-hmm. feel pretty solid about this deck. Too. We didn't have to splash any third colors or anything like that, which does make this easier as well as far as lands go. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I dig it. I think it's great. Yeah. Um. Obviously, this is only our, like, first or second draft uh, with Guilds of Ravnica, so we'll learn more as we go through this as well. It may be that we're a highly valuing cards that we shouldn't or undervaluing cards that we shouldn't. Uh, right. So by all means, we'll learn more and uh, obviously keep you guys updated. Maybe that we do another one of these, you mm-hmm. know, a month or so in, yeah, and see where we're at. But uh, totally. so far, how do you feel about this set? I like this set a lot. I like the limited feel of it. Um, I do too. I think it's this is a loaded statement again. I think it's kind of harder <laughs> than um, other limited sets we've had in the past. I think so too. Um, the blue, like blue black, isn't as upfront. In its power level, yeah, as it has been in other sets, certainly. Like I, to honestly, I don't know how to win other than beating face in limited. Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> um, and I don't think blue black does that very well. Yeah, just to be straight up, there are some good blue black cards that beat face. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but what that three three fly death touch hex proof guy is yeah, just insane it's a monster um no you're exactly right i do find this set uh a bit more challenging than we've seen in the past for instance i'm the last set dominaria i guess and like m19 i don't count because it's a core set but like major set i think dominaria sure. and like that was fairly straightforward to draft i thought like there were definitely some tougher picks and some more challenging uh decisions that need to be made this just seems way more challenging in general than Dominaria. Um, yeah, I, I say that because I think that the, the strongest archetypes are uh, kind of obvious to me. I think Red White is very the good. top. Yeah. And then I think below it, you've got Black Green or Green White as kind of yeah. contenders. Um, but then Blue Red and Blue Black, I don't really... I'm not sure of them. Yeah, I don't know if they really work. Yeah. And again, wow. we'll learn more as we draft this more. So mm-hmm. hopefully we'll we'll find that uh, they're just as powerful, if not even more. So that'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, definitely on the face of it, the the green, white, green, black, and uh, white, red definitely seem like the most strong archetypes in my opinion yeah, as well. So we'll see what happens. I do like yeah. this set though. It seems fun. I dig yeah. it. I do too. Um, Okay, so again, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll probably do another one of these, but Mm -hmm. uh, to finish up this episode, we have our Kraken Packs. Sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Before that, actually, we do have to say our question of the week. Uh, Uh, What guild are you in is our question of the week. This is pretty straightforward. Yeah, there's a, you can pick your favorite or there's some quizzes online that you can take. Uh, Very, very sweet, actually. Did you 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 take it? Yeah. What'd you get? Or's Hav. That's right, I got Is It. Yeah. Uh, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about um, right. Let's see. Uh, we do have our goal cards. Mine is Supreme Phantom. Uh, mine is still Leonin War Leader. Uh, I just want to point out Supreme yeah. Phantom doing wonders in modern right now. Yeah. It's a good card. Killing it. Is good. Is good. Is, is, is good. very good. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. And we'll got it. Oh, I got a foil. <laughs> <laughs> that. No, I didn't get it. Okay. Goblin Trash Master. I got Cleansing Nova. Destroy all creatures or destroy <laughs> all artifacts and enchantments. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I got two interesting ones. So I got Hyromancer's Cage, which is basically white removal, or her- Heroic Reinforcements, which I do think is the pick because that is just a great card in red-white. Uh, pretty fantastic. So that's what I would pick. Hmm... I'm down to three. I need your help. Uh, I don't think it's this. No? That has been very underwhelming for me. You think? Yes. Um, it's to be honest. Expensive. Yeah, it is. That's Ooh. the that's the downside. Whew. Um, it's a cool card. I like it. I highly valued it in the beginning, but I have since learned. <laughs> three. So you're paying eight to do... Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. So I think really then uh, it's Bonds. Probably. It leaves you open, certainly. Yeah. Uh, you do it. The Draconic Disciple is also a sweet card, but Luminous Bonds is just solid. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd probably pick Bonds. That's good right removal. Yeah, I think that's what I would take too. Me being an Orzov. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything I, you want to talk uh, about before we... Um, do you have a favorite card for a limited in this set, do you think? Uh, I've got a few that I really like. I do like... You and I talked about two of the guild mages being quite good. Yours, yeah. Your favorite is Conclave. Guild yes, is I that think correct? Conclave is great. Putting a 2-2 body out, right? that clears board parity pretty well. Yeah, no, I think you're so. right. Uh, I like the Legion guild mage quite a lot as well. Mm -hmm. uh, tap Legion's down awesome. stuff and just deal damage to the face. Seems really good. Yeah. Uh, I do think the Golgari guild mage is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I think it probably goes Legion, Conclave... And then Golgari, then the other two, who gives a crap. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I do think Dim it, I think is it is like the worst just because it yeah. costs way too much to do that. Yeah. Like to do both of the abilities, it costs way too much. Whereas like most of the other ones, you've got like a cheap option and a more expensive yeah. option. Um, and like drawing a card is relevant. That's good, but like not limited. Not, you not don't really like don't draft for card you know drawing. I mean? <laughs> um, that's just the thing. Yeah, you want stuff that gets you out of board states or board stalls or anything like that. Yeah. So. And copying instance is cool, but there's not always stuff to do. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And normally, I mean, you're in drafts, so like, you're hopefully going to be drafting a little bit more on the creature side of things. At least I tend to. Yeah, you should. Um, I believe. I yeah, believe I believe that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I do really like those. The guild mages are always pretty sweet, though. Just in general. I'm excited to be opening this pack. Same. Instead of M19. Same. Do you have a, a current gold card, do you think? <sighs> Not offhand. I mean, the gimmicky one would be like Assassin's Trophy, but like... <laughs> I mean, it's a really good card. Um, but no, I, I've been looking through some interesting cards, and yeah. there are a few that have stuck out to me, so I just have to narrow it down a little bit more. Okay. How about you? Um, I like Dream Eater. Dream Eater's sweet. Um, That's a mythic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Are we going mythic on this? I don't know. I also like the uh, four four Golgari troll guy. Oh yeah, Charnel troll or Carnal? Carnal troll, two? something like that. Yeah, it's a sweet card. Yeah, for three, it's just insane. Yeah, it does a lot of stuff. It does. It really a lot does. Of stuff. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's pretty I'm good. sweet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm stoked. This is sweet. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say, <laughs> guys. I'm tired. That's the takeaway, really. Fair. I was out of town for a while. I got back. I'm not on a regular sleep schedule anymore. What is regular sleep? Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, Anyhow. I think with that, we're going to end this episode. Yes. We, we really appreciate it. You guys watching. It's awesome. We're going to leave. Bye. My name's Kevin. <laughs> My name's Will. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode.